raising the bar. Plastic pollution is a global epidemic, a problem that is destroying our environment and spreading unsightly litter in our cities and landscapes. Many countries have already taken a step in the right direction by adopting laws that require all polyolefin packaging include oxo-biodegradable technology. In case the products end up as litter in the environment, the additives allow the plastic packaging to fully biodegrade in as little as 24 months, greatly reducing the impact of plastic pollution. However, there is a serious issue arising. As with any new industry, there is always some willing to compromise quality and safety for profit. There are many companies that claim to biodegrade plastic, yet are unable to scientifically prove it. Studies show that some only partially degrade plastic, up to 50% or less. These additives fragment into small pieces, making the plastic pollution problem worse. Manufacturers should be held to prove the 100% effectiveness of their additive throughout the life cycle of the plastic product. A few unprincipled manufacturers have also begun to replace industry standard non-toxic transition metals in their products formula with inexpensive toxic heavy metals like cobalt, mercury or cadmium. Polyolefins are almost exclusively used in food contact products in everything from plastic bags to food wrapping and water bottles. If these manufacturers are not stopped and subject to testing, they will not only permanently damage the image of the oxo-biodegradable industry, but also compromise the health of millions. Oxo-biodegradable technology was created to complement the recycling industry, not replace it. They're meant to biodegrade only those products left uncollected as litter in the environment. Yet some products entering our market actually compromise recycled finished products. This creates a black stain for our entire industry. Producers of the additives should be required to demonstrate that their products don't undermine the recycling process. Actions have consequences. By allowing low standard products to enter the market, the image and mission of oxo-biodegradables in the country suffers as a whole. If left unmanaged, the solution to the plastic pollution problem could end up being worse than the problem itself. We implore the government that took this first bold step of introducing oxo technology to the country to now raise the standards as a whole. The SP Institute, Scandinavia's renowned government testing body, has already created the first and only comprehensive certification for our industry. Specifically, the SPCR 141 standard certification requires that additives pass three strict tiers of testing to prove complete biodegradation throughout the life cycle of the plastic product. Unlike other tests in our industry, it is a strict pass or fail. 1. Abiotic degradation. The additive must demonstrate complete oxidization of the plastic. 2. Biodegradation ensures that not just some, but the entire plastic is consumed by bacteria within 24 months. 3. Finally, a soil stroke water quality test. This ensures that the plastic will leave zero toxic residues, supporting both seed germination and plant growth. The SP Institute test methods require additives to prove complete biodegradation, non-interference in recycling and non-ecotoxicity. Passing these tests ensures the highest standard of quality and safety for our industry and is available to all OXO additive producers. Strict regulation of these products protects our ecosystems, consumers and countries' future. Let us not allow these misdeeds of a few to destroy the home of many. Please choose to raise the OXO biodegradable plastic standards today.